नमस्ते आई एम मंजुला वेलकम टू मंजुला किचन टुडे आई विल बी मेकिंग समोसा पिन बी दिस इज ए ग्रेट ट्विस्ट टू ए पॉपुलर मोस्ट वांटेड इंडियन स्नैक समोसा दिस कैन इधर बी सर्व एज ए माउथ वॉटरिंग एपिटाइजर और एज ए चार्ट दिस रेसिपी विल सर्व फोर टू फाइव टू मेक samosa pin wheels we will need for dough we need 1 cup of all purpose flour maida or plain flour 2 tablespoons of fine semolina or suji 3 tablespoons of oil half a teaspoon of salt namak and about 1/3 cup of cold water for filling we need 4 medium size potatoes which i have already boiled peeled and roughly mashed and this will make 2 and 1/2 cups of mashed potatoes half a cup of green peas boiled and i am using the frozen green peas 1 teaspoon of cumin seed jeera 2 teaspoon of coriander powder dhania half a teaspoon of red chili powder lal mirch half a teaspoon of garam masala 1 teaspoon of mango powder amchur One and quarter teaspoon of salt, namak. One tablespoon of chopped green chili, hari mirch. Two tablespoon of chopped cilantro, hara dhania. We also need two tablespoon of all-purpose flour, maida, and about one fourth cup of water to make a thin batter. First, I will make dough. All-purpose flour, maida, semolina, suji. salt oil mix it well flour is looking very crumbly and this is the time we are ready to add the water so we are going to use about 1/3 cup of water so don't add all at the same time add slowly and don't knead the dough just mix it and dough should be soft it should be little bit softer than we need because semolina uh, will absorb the water and we will need more water i have used all 1/3 cup of water so it's looking good and now i'm going to cover it and let it sit for at least 15 minutes while dough is sitting we can get ready and make our uh, filling so here i we have already boiled the potatoes and mashed make sure it's not very smooth it's rough but uh, doesn't have too many big pieces so green peas which i have already boiled and squeeze the water out so let's mix the green peas mango powder garam masala coriander powder cumin seed salt red pepper green chilies cilantro so just mix it well mix is ready everything is mixed really well and it has a nice smell of uh, garam masala this is the time if you want you can taste the filling and adjust the salt pepper or uh, mango powder to your taste remember after frying it will not be this hot what you feel the heat in the mix and now let's make the batter so we are going to add the water and mix it it should be thin batter mix it well batter is ready you need a very thin and a smooth batter dough is ready let's get started it has been over 15 minutes so dough is ready so before kneading the dough i will just lightly oil the surface and then knead okay it's looking good and divide this into two equal parts make them into balls 
and we are going to roll the each ball into about 11 inch diameter. Now let's roll the dough. Roll it from the side. Otherwise side will be thicker and center will become very thin. Turn it around. Turn this around again. So we are turning and rolling. Okay, this is looking good, nice and even all around. Now we are going to put the mix over it and spread it. So, just spread with your fingers. So, we used about half the filling. To make it easy, just oil the rolling pin and just go over lightly. So, this is much easier and it rolls out very evenly. And then roll this as a log. So take it from one side, roll it tight. Okay, and just in the end, wet your finger with water and just go around and press it down. Looking good, and roll it. Roll it for a few times. And this is looking really good and now we are going to slice it okay so cut off the ends about one inch and now cut them in about half an inch pieces so cut them into about half inch pieces and see how nice they are looking and we are ready to fry them. I forgot to tell you before we fry these pin wheels we have to press them lightly and then dip it in the batter. Heat is on medium oil should be moderately hot so now we are ready to fry the pin wheels so first we should dip it in batter and then fry them. Okay dip the pin wheel in batter. Batter should be very uh, thin so you don't really see batter over the pinwheel and drop it. Don't overcrowd them. Just wait one minute before we turn them over okay and now it's time it has been about a minute and you see it has start changing the color very nicely it should it will take about three minutes before they are ready and the both sides they should be very nicely browned samosa pinwheels are ready and has a very nice brown color from both sides so looking very nice and crunchy so it's time to take them out and I will take them out over the paper towel so it will absorb the extra oil. Samosa pinwheels are looking beautiful very nice color and very crunchy. Samosa pinwheels are looking delicious they are a great appetizer for a party a crowd Pleaser. They are so delicious you may eat them just as they are or serve them with cilantro or tamarind chutney. My favorite way is to serve as a chart with drizzle of yogurt and tamarind chutney. Enjoy it. Thank you. Till we meet again. Check out more recipes on manjulaskitchen.com.